Hey guys, Johnny King 19 here, and today we're going to be looking at all new Super Mario Bros. games from DS to Deluxe. These include New Super Mario Bros. 1, well, DS, people call it for the DS. New Super Mario Bros. Wii for the Wii. New Super Mario Bros. 2 for the 3DS. And New Super Mario Bros. U plus the Ouija U for the Wii U. And New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe for the Switch. So now let's hop onto the DS to look at the original that started it all. New Super Mario Bros. DS. And here's the game. So, they have Mario game, Mario vs. Luigi, mini games and options. So, let's just go straight into Mario game. So, if you hold L and R, this happens. Luigi. You can rock on Luigi, which I always do after discovering this. So, the world map contains your usual grass, desert, beach, snow, Mountain and lava slash volcano theme, which is the last world for the game that is until we. So you probably notice these two world four and world seven. Yeah, well, here's what you gotta do you gotta beat the bosses from world 2 and world 5 as mini mario slash luigi which as you can see why they grayed out i never did because i don't want to have to go uh, all the trouble by getting rid of 23 lives because the thing is with the mini mushroom you can't really you know stomp on enemies you have to ground pound and also, you die with like one hit, and so it's basically just like small Mario Luigi. I'm not a fan of it. So, to jump, you press A. So to move, you press the D pad. To crouch, you press the D pad down. To run, you hold X or Y. I suppose you can jump with B as well. And to throw these fireballs you see right now, it's X. So let me show you what happens with the mini mushroom that I talked about. So you see this Goomba? Gone. Have to ground pound. To ground pound, you jump and then press D-pad down. And his up. I just died by running into a simple Goomba. Because Mini Mario is the same as normal Mario slash Luigi. Make it all the way through 1-1. One, one. You come up with a new power-up. Something that appeared in Super Mario 3D World. This mushroom, this is the Mega Mushroom. You crush everything in your path, including blocks, pipes, and question mark blocks. It rewards you three one-ups at the end. 
Lucy. Yeah, that's New Super Mario Bros, really. Also, one thing is that for 2D Mario, it has a, these little star coin things that you can use to, yeah, unlock different areas. Also, one thing is for sure, the castle music slaps. I mean, just listen to it. This is the best music I've ever heard in a Mario game. So, next is New Super Mario Bros. Wii. And for this I'll be using the Wii U because I don't have a Wii anymore. So, just slot it in. Um, this is going to like the DS where it just does it like almost immediately. So that's the whole show you must on the, on the channel screen. So for this you'll need to use the Wiimote sideways, but I'll just I'm just using it with the nunchuck. So you do have your standard grass theme desert. Beach, jungle, mountain, cloud, and volcano. You can go in Peach's castle in this one. Like how you normally would go into the mid castles. Oh god. Thing is for sure, you do f get encounters with other enemies. Let's say the moon and what is the reward? Three mushrooms. So yeah, I, I don't really need mushrooms, but I guess when I'm running low, I can just use them. So, you can go up hills in this one, which is cool. Oh, on the map. And let's go into Peach's Castle. So this is inside the Peach's Castle. These are all... Yeah, Unfortunately you can't jump on toes. Well, so... To head out, you just simply head left. So this is New Super Mario Bros 2, as you can tell already. The title screen music is the same, except with just the additional bars and do's. So just like its original DS counterpart, you can rock on the Ouija. So anyway, you still have your grass, desert, beach, snow, cloud, and volcano or lava. But what the hell happened to the jungle and mountain theme? Well, the jungle theme is tied into World 3. And World well, the mountain level is cut entirely and instead was replaced by World Mushroom and World Flower, which is supposed to be there, and World Star, which for some reason you have to have 90 star coins, not from that, wait, not from, yeah, that, up there. Not from that, from that. Which is weird. I mean, well, you do fight Dry Bowser here. I mean, there's nothing else besides the castle right there. There's nothing really too crazy going on. 
like in the mushroom world where you have these ghost houses and that mushroom house with some others and that cannon which probably takes you to Lord Flower. So let's get into the gameplay. Let's go. So you see I have 49 knives, yeah. And I got, there's a queen count down there. Because, well, the main gimmick here in New Super Mario Bros. 2 is coins. So you won't, you know, ever get a game over. So, yeah, the music is kind of the same from Wii's, except a lot of bars and dudes just thrown in there. But besides that, all the music is the same. Yeah. I just don't know why it's the same. You could have made new music like they did in you. But, but I don't work at Nintendo, so I don't know. But yeah, see, I've got this... I had that block thing on my head. Well... It is something that, you know, you do wear on your head. You wear it on your head, and one of behind is a trail of coins. So, yeah, if you run, you get a really long trail. But if you just merely walk, you only get one coin each. Also, you get a round of applause when it comes off. Neat. Is new Super Mario Bros. U. So I am using the Switch port because, well, they are basically the same game. So the reason why I'm Toadette is Super Crown reasons. Super Crown's only exclusive to Toadette for some reason. Well, I guess I don't want to see a Mario yet or Luigi yet or play. Like in Super Mario World. The worlds are interconnected, so like Acorn Plains, for example, is connected to Layer Cake Desert, which I find cool. And also these annoying things return from Wii. Just why? So yeah, New Super Mario Bros. U introduces something new, the Acorn Soup, which is also a new power LP Super Mario Maker 2. And so you got your classic grass, desert, forest, ice, beach, lava, clouds. At the mountain level returns from being cut in Super Mario Bros. 2, or New Super Mario Bros. 2. So that's cool. And also, there are secret levels. They're not secret worlds off the S. So, for example, let's head to Acorn Plains out of this pipe, which is the easiest way to get from level to level, I find. It's like, there's this secret on one, two, where you find a secret passage and it leads you to Acorn Plains blooper. This is the same with. World 2, World 3, World 4, World 5. But I don't think it's the same in World 6, 7, or 8. Because, you know, they're like the last three levels of the entire game. Now, just like in Wii, you do go on airships. You go on them in the Soda Jungle. And, well, the beginning of the Soda Jungle. And the last level of ring you, what, however you say that, clouds. Yeah. And also, just like in Super Mario Bros. 2 and Wii, there are secret worlds, or technically a world 9, which is called in this game Superstar Road. Yes. I had to go all the trouble by getting all the star coins in all the star coins in acorn planes just to get this one level. See the thing is you have to yeah 
For example, you need to collect all the star coins in the AK Desert. So this is New Super Mario Bros. U, just your standard Mario game, even though the music is a lot different from New Super Mario Bros. Wii. So, what is this power-up over here? It turns Toadette into Peach Air. Cool. Peach Air acts the exact same way as the Acorn Suit does. So you hold A and X to glide. And R2, well, ZR. I'm playing on a controller with L2 and R2 for some reason. So, press that to launch yourself into the air, just like the propeller suit. Now, the propeller suit and the penguin suit return in this game, as well as the ice flower. That was first done in Mario Galaxy, by the way. Just saying. There are fruits underneath that. Oh, well, I just found these coins. And the checkpoint flag is here. I think that's here to stay. Other than the music, just your typical Mario, bubbly Mario music. Or just your typical Mario level. But one thing is for sure they introduced a new enemy, the Waddle Wing which glide and sometimes it can be seen holding a acorn which is the power up gives you the acorn suit and you can stomp on them also the mini mushroom makes a return so by the way the peach yet is based off of the super mario bros 2 version of peach where she glides and i guess she's like this in 3d world as well you know, Peach did glide in the original Super Mario Bros. 2, and those are the only games close, so yeah, that's a fact for you. That's it for this video, like and subscribe if you want, and see you next time. Bye!